As the new year begins, I've noticed there hasn't been a single $100 gaming PC build video out there. So I thought I'd take it upon myself to share my own $100 gaming computer build with you all. For this build, I'm exclusively using parts from eBay to make it easy for you to replicate. The only way I could stay within the $100 budget was by picking up a used Dell Optiplex on eBay. The listing described this as a Dell Optiplex 7040 with an i7-6700 and 8GB of RAM. I managed to snag it for $55 through a best offer, however, when it arrived it didn't match the description and it only had 4GB of defective RAM. I submitted a return request and ended up getting a $35 refund. Luckily, I had some spare RAM lying around, an 8GB stick of Corsair Vengeance LPX. One of the first things I wanted to do was remove the heat sink and apply fresh thermal paste, since it's usually dried up and less effective over time. However, this computer was surprisingly clean and I'm not even sure if reapplying was necessary. Now that the heat sink and the i7 are free of the old thermal paste, I'll apply a small pea-sized amount of new arctic thermal paste. After that, we'll reinstall the heatsink, tighten all four screws securely, and plug in the fan connector. At this point, the Optiplex is all cleaned up, and it's time to add storage. Unfortunately, the Dell SATA power harness was missing, so I had to order one from eBay for just $5. With our tight budget, I had to compromise on storage and went with a crucial 240GB SATA SSD. Fortunately, storage is fairly inexpensive, so upgrading it in the future will be easy. With only $30 left in the budget, finding a graphics card was going to be a challenge. After searching eBay, I found a GTX 1050 2GB listed for $35 with shipping. I submitted a best offer of $20 and managed to get it for $30 including shipping. The reason finding a card was so challenging is that I didn't want to rely on a SATA power connector adapter, I just wanted one that used the PCIe power. Installing the graphics card in this build is pretty straightforward. Simply release the retention bracket for the PCIe slot, install the graphics card, and then re-engage the bracket to secure it. At this point, the build is complete and it's pretty simple. All that's left to do is close the chassis, slide the side panel back on, and admire our build. Starting with the benchmarks, we have Valorant running at 1080p with all settings on high. One dead. Looks like we're able to maintain at least 100 FPS or more consistently, making it more than playable for a competitive experience. It might even justify using a high refresh rate display. Next, we have Fortnite running in performance mode with all settings on high at 1080p. It's clear that with 7GB of RAM being used, upgrading to 16 would definitely help. However, the game is still more than playable for a competitive experience consistently running at just above 100fps. All things considered, our Optiplex build performed surprisingly well for just $100. The GTX 1050 2GB really impressed me and it paired nicely with the i7. While the 8GB of RAM held back some performance, it still delivered solid results. So how much did this build really cost? Well $55 for the Optiplex, disregarding the RAM and the missing SATA harness, 
$30 for the GTX 1050 and $12 for the SSD that brings us to a total of just $97. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for the future, feel free to drop them down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.